let's do some work with radians. So I got the same illustration here. That's the same words you just saw. I'm going to just change the questions down here. So if the farmer here is to walk all the way around the circle, his circular farm goes all the way around and ends up back exactly where he started, how many radians did he walk? How many radius lengths did he walk in one lap? Well, we already said that, right? It is two pi radians. Two pi radians makes up one complete circle. What if we only go a half of a lap? If you start here and you end right there, we'd say, well, that's half of the circumference. If the whole circumference is two times pi, then half of that would be one pi, or just pi. About three quarters of a lap. Well, three quarters of a lap means you go from the start, you go one quarter away, one half of the way around, three quarters of the way around. We're going to go in the same direction that the direction angle goes. We always go counterclockwise. So three quarters is going to be right here. You say, well, that'd be uh, three quarters of the whole thing. The whole thing is two pi, three fourths of two pi. Um, we're going to end up with three halves pi or one and a half pi. The convention you're using radians, by the way, is to always leave things in fractions. Improper fractions are no problem, we don't care. Improper fractions actually are better than mixed numbers, but we we'll always leave radian measures in fractional form. Uh, one last one, what if we only went one sixth of a lap? So let's take our farmer back. If you go from here, uh, that's about a sixth of the way around. How many radians is that? Well, one sixth. Multiplied by 2 pi, that's our circumference. It's going to give us 2 pi over 6. Reduce the fractions, we get 1 third pi. Or you could say pi divided by 3 would be the same thing. OK. Lastly, let's take a look at the same idea here using both degrees and radians. If I want to know what is the measurement of the angle that would correspond with 1 fourth of a circle, in degrees, I know that the whole circle is 360 degrees. And so if I want one fourth of that, I can multiply by one fourth, I can divide it by four. That's going to give me 90 degrees. In radians, so I know the whole circle is two pi, and I only want one fourth of that. So I'm going to multiply and we get two pi over four, pi over two. One half pi. What about one half of a circle? Okay, well, 360 degrees multiplied by a half. That's 180 degrees. In radians, two pi multiplied by a half, because I only want half the circle is going to be two pi over two. The two is going to cancel. I end up with just pi. Radians. Well, oh, you can't read that. It says radians. Trust me. Yeah. All right. What about five sixths of a circle? Okay. Well, in degrees, we know that a whole circle is 360 degrees. If I want five sixths of that, I multiply by five sixths. And um, there's not a thing I can do uh, mental math here. So let's go 360. Uh, times 5 divided by 6 is 300 degrees. Don't forget our units. And in radians, 2 pi radians makes one complete circle. And so if I want 5 sixths of that, I just multiply by 5 sixths. Pretend like this is a fraction, 2 pi over 1. Multiply the top by the top and the bottom times the bottom. So I'm going to get uh, 2 times 5, that's 10. Pi and on the bottom six, reduce that fraction, it'll be five thirds. You can call it five pi thirds or five thirds pi radians. I'll just abbreviate because I don't have room for the whole word.